The Italian community is pretty active. They are developing a firmware builder software which allow you form windows in a user interface software to select the type of firmware you want to use, some custom like settings about the frequencies if you want to allow uh, frequencies that are not designed to be handled by the C1101 chipset and also like to ignore like the frequencies that are designed already for your specific region. You could also like set up like the name you want to have on your Flipper Zero. So I know for the name there was like an application right on your Flipper Zero that was supposed to do it. The time I have tried it, it crashed. But you know, here you could do it via the GUI on one click. Okay, if you don't like your Flipper uh, nickname, okay. You could also like add up like customized GIF, like the one from the different like custom firmware. Okay, so here like you add like a GIF and you define when it should like kind of be displayed often or not depending like the birth hot like attribute and also depending the level uh, which you are on the flipper zero to use and run like the front end here like um, and also to generate and build the different um, uh, firmwares, you will need indeed like some dependencies even on Windows. So the .NET framework, you will need also Python on Windows and Git indeed. Because what is nice here is like the Flipper um, firmware builder is going to uh, fetch all like the firmware from GitHub and that's really transparent for you. Uh, let's say you used to use your web browser and do a few click here it will be kind of the same but you will need to wait then for the firmware to be compiled okay so that's from the flipper zero firmware also they have included for people that are using the wi-fi dev board some functionalities so here you could like download the driver and also flash it from here. Okay, so that's really a nice uh, functionality. I didn't try it yet. And of course, some resources in Italian because like, uh, of course, the developer um, from this community, which is great and different like link for like the repositories. Also, what do you have here is like a common line interface instead of like running your um, browser, you could have it right here. So I think it is like a very nice ID and I encourage you to watch it and be notified on GitHub. So right now it is at early stage. Um, there are some bugs, but you know, for me, the so bug I have noticed is like Git is not installed. And every time I want to compile a new firmware, so when I hit generate new firmware, it's asked me to reinstall Git over and over. So, okay, that's it. And maybe some, um, I will say, I cannot like uh, click and, and drag like the, the window, but that's cosmetic. One thing I will hear like people say indeed, and they're right, we never know. Don't trust but verify. Right now, there is only a binary and the code is closed. But I have spoken with the developer and they are going to publish it on the GitHub. So I think it's something to watch. And who, who knows, maybe you could participate. Thank you for watching and stay tuned. Bye-bye.